Hello there, Mert. Listen, I'm here playing Brink. I'm just here to show you what all the weapons are like, many of the weapon combinations. So I'm not gonna show, like, uh, what each weapon looks like with, like, different combinations, because that'd just take too long, just, like, because I have to do different radicals and, like, what, what it fucking looks like with a silencer and a bayonet. But I just wanna show what the weapons of this game are. It's a new series I'm doing because, well, when I wanna know about a new game, I wanna know about the weapons, because that's the main thing important about an FPS. The weapons, because if it's not satisfying or something you can't enjoy, there's really no reason getting it, to be honest, unless it's really good without it, or something like that. And because there isn't really a YouTube thing that really, like, does that, and I really wanted to kind of do that myself, that way people who are curious about, like, the weapons of a game can learn about it, and different combinations, of course. I'll try to keep it pretty detailed. There is definitely you can do. Okay, let me just show it off. Okay, first there's the... What's it called? Maximus MG. And then there's the basic assault rifle, the one that's kind of start out. And, uh, there's never one. This big motherfucker! This guy! This, this minigun! This thing! This badass shotgun. And, uh... Button fire semi-auto thingamabobber. Yep. A fucking semi-auto grenade launcher. Bitches be burned. This ain't easy. And, uh, FMRs. Then there's regular grenade launcher guy. With aim on for some reason. Shotgun. Oh yeah, this is in 90 FOV, just not in 90, 120 because this game looks the best in 120. Just does. Get over it. Stop her right away! No one ammo here. Snap rifle B. Basic uh, submachine gun A. Pistol of her. This little bass right here. And this little tiny shit. The bull pup. And the Desert Eagle. And the Doom both up. Same thing, but the Doom. This cute little guy. Oh yeah, speaking of skins, uh, each team has different skins. Like this one's more dirt and cool looking, and uh, the security is more clean and kind of cool looking as well. I'll show that as well. And machine pistol. These things fucking kick ass. And the fallout, uh, this little guy. Same thing again, but with both boy on the side. I approve of it. 
The tampon. That's the shit load, I like it. And uh the revolver. As well as revolver two that you can get in with the uh, DLC along with the two other SMGs I showed. And cool looking machine pistol. Again, DLC. Maybe way better than the other one. Okay, then there's a uh, um, scopes like this. The smaller one, and then there's the bigger sniper scope. Zooms in a little further. And then there's a uh, also the side vent and the up vent for the muzzle flare. Then there's vehicles like uh, this one. Mainly just for our aesthetic purposes. And then there's uh, ones like this. Same thing. Then there's this rifle, which you can put on the shotgun if you just feel like it. And mostly, mostly assault rifles and the shotgun. And the uh, machine gun. And then there's uh, this one, which is a DLC one that you can put on almost anything. Also, let me show up some rapid fire. Like before, it was really slow and I was really fast, but less accurate. Same thing with this one. Then there's the speed sling, and like... Goes much faster, but a little less stable. And, uh... This one has extended mags, I think. Yep, this one... This is what an extended mag is like. Not a drum, but just extended mag. Just has a little bit more. And this one has, um... A bayonet, which jabs and also does and when you slide does damage and knocks them down while the normal one just knocks down and just knocks down and do damage but less damage than the bayonet. But unfortunately about the bayonet is that it doesn't knock people down unless you slide. And uh, this is adjusted, air, uh, adjusted iron sights and this is normal iron sights. You can see a little bit more of the gun. Which is probably better if you play in a high FB like I do. Then there's front grips, each one has their own, I'd probably show that, but it just takes forever because every single weapon has their own front, oh not every single one, but a majority of weapons have their own front grip. That kinda has looks different than a little boy's currently better. Just makes it more accurate. Yep. Also got duct tape mags, which almost said all weapons can have again, besides like uh, weapons that don't have magazines. This makes the second reload much faster. Normal and normal, single much faster, hell yeah. But I think you trade out like um, like uh, I forgot what it was. And lastly for SMGs, SMG drums. Basically you have a shit ton more ammo, with the slightly slower reload. Except for, I don't feel like I, I can see the thing. But when this gonna make a difference because you have such a fast reload. Now for assault rifle, you, not, yeah, assault rifles you got um, a grenade launcher. Explodes on contact rather than most grenade most grenades in this game where you have to wait. Not most grenades, but the normal grenade. As well as um let's see what the it's called uh it's called four of them. See the little muzzle flares. Again acidic and it does a little, actually does something and like um decreases the increases the stability but gets rid of range a bit. Six so other things but that's main. Then there's a the weapon shield, makes this way faster to switch it out. But blocks a bit of your body, and uh, also this one has, I think, the six fit, but you can't see it because the weapon shield is fine. But you get the point. You can also sort of see the muzzle flare in the, not flare, but yeah, in the aim that side, which is pretty cool as well. And then there's down vent, and the air drum, which basically holds a shit ton of stuff, slightly slower load. I think a slower uh, switch out rate. There's a bunch of different stats that it intertwines with it. And then there's uh, this guy. You can see you can put the little scope on like almost every weapon if you feel like it. Just fuck it. It's actually kind of helpful if you do because it's long range fighting. And this one I think is like a um, dual things. As well as uh, for the two MG guns, you can just do extended thing which basically doubles 
what your magazine holds. So they basically just spray until you have to take forever to reload. See like how big that box is. Now for pistols. Each pistol has their own little muzzle flare. They don't have you can't choose to shoot them, just either choose it or not it. Basically, there's only one choice, and there's a silencer as well. And uh, you can put any, like, reticle on the thing, and it's, like, smaller. It's pretty fucking cool. And for this one, I got rapid fire. A little, makes it a lot faster to shoot. I also love the... just the look. This jiggle of those, like, feels really cool. I put those extended mags, which basically just... as you expect, extends the mag. And here's this guy. That's pretty cool, I like it. See, the only little, little tiny reticle it has. So pretty cute. And also, again, each one has their own, like, specific muzzle flare. How the fuck did we win without me doing jack shit? <laughs> See, they are, are pretty impressive. They can actually completely do an objective without you. But yeah, just a tiny little reticle is pretty cute. Just the iron sights for your pistols, you basically see more of it, which I like as well. And, uh, again, muzzle flash. I think, I think the um, ones that are reskinned, different versions have the similar muzzle flash, I think so. And basically that's it. Oh yeah, I have to do one more thing, the silencer weapons. Yeah, I might as well show this one with the metal crank. Just goes like BOOM! Like the air goes vanishes. Now for what they sound like with silencers. Okay, I got the, every weapon besides the grenade launcher and the, um, uh, minigun can be silenced. So, there's a lot of silence, every weapon has a different silent sound, and, uh, there's, there are, there's a silencer and a suppressor, I think they may make the same sound, but they look different, and, the uh, suppressor is DLC. Uh, that's what this sounds like. This sounds like. This sound like this sound like this sound like this sound like. All right, the only thing that the uh, silencer does is it takes a, it takes a slight bit of damage away from you, but it makes you undetectable unless you uh, follow it was. But basically, makes your shots where you don't show up on the radar on the corner. But it takes a little bit of damage, so use it how you'd like it. This one! This one! You gotta say they actually have pretty cool sounds, and uh, here's the difference between what a sound and a suppressor sounds like. They're basically, they're exactly the same. There you are! Same thing with these two. Suppressor, uh, suppressor, yep. Silencer. Basically, the cool thing about the suppressor is that it's bigger, and for the um, resistance, it's a soda can, which I'll show, of course. This one. This guy. Him. Personally, I really like the silencer sounds. They're very unique to each to each one, and it's. Pretty cool sounding. This fine lady! And his mistress! I like how it just sounds different when the MM sites, the detail that I quite enjoy. This guy! Mr. Desert Eagle here! Or Sea Eagle! Captain fucking Chisner! And, uh, this guy. The filthy slut revolver. Shush, I am doing something. There are. And his pimp other revolver, which is used by a suppressor I have around there. And of course, shotgun one. So it goes boom, even when silent. I love it. And check on two. And this baby, no one wants to stop this motherfucker. <laughs> and as I said before, it's that fucking... <laughs> the fucking soda can. You can't get more badass than that for a suppressor for the resistance. 
And they just have a similar uh, thing for the sounds there, but fuck it, so I can. And you get all the mods and weapons from, not from multiplayer, called free play, just in case you want to know, you just click search, that's how you fly multiplayer. You do it in challenges, basically, it's basically practice mode, but with rewards, it's a, you get your, it's all the stuff, that way you don't have to grind your ass off to get all the cool shit, you just do, do some practice mode stuff, familiar yourself with the game, and BAM, you get all the cool shit. And yeah, you only have to do one, th one and two, because the third one's basically really, really hard in game news. But yeah, that's how you play it. There's also a lot of um, other things you can do, like there's a lot of uh, thousands of letters you can change your type. Heavy has the most, medium has some, like can move more, and lights just a fuck. That only has like machine guns and pistols, but it's a hardcore motherfucker. Uh, shit ton of stuff, especially if you get, like, um, this guy has DLC clothing on. And uh, abilities, there's a ton of abilities, like, you can do cool shit. You can just. Medic stuff, <laughs> fucking healing grenade. Uh, increase your explosions, and uh, there's different explosion stuff, and then there's um, turrets and mines and explode fire mines, and then there's EMP flying exploding birds. You can hack turrets, you can sticky bombs and uh, spikes. An explosion and uh, suicide. There's also a glitch where if you play parkour this with your character being a heavy person, since you have to be a light person to play it, you still have a heavy weapon, even if you're, even though you're a light guy. A little glitch. And this is what a name is normally. You can cook the grenade, but it won't explode in your hands. It'll basically, once it hits the top, it'll throw it itself and explode in contact. Just saying. And then the parkour in this game is fantastic, as gotta say. Especially if you have high FOV. You can just bounce off shit and just go like, whoa! All oh, sorts of fun stuff. And every game in the world should have a slide. Without a slide, you are a failure of a game. At least in FPS. God, that was... But yeah, the... well, I'm fucking failing pretty bad today. But you the point, it just really f makes it a lot of cool and fun, and makes the game have really good map design, and a lot of different flanking areas, and uh, fun places to jump around, and just get to places secrets. It's just, it just adds so much to the game. But the best part is about the gunplay, easily. Four left. Ah, oh, so close to getting that. But you get the point, also you move really fast. You can just bounce off fucking walls. It's, the, it's literally the tits. Well, screw you. And if you're thinking to yourself, man, this guy is such a low level, well, you're fucking wrong. 21, 21, 21, 24, 22. A complete soldier class, a complete medic class, a complete, uh... Operative class, complete soldier class, and a complete well-rounded class, and now I'm making another five classes made solely for, uh, because I made the main characters resistance, I'm gonna make these guys main characters, uh, um, what's it called? Security. So yeah, I'm a fucking boss, screw you.